Hi everyone, this is Dr. Tom G. And uh, I'm going to go through how to do deciles and percentiles in Excel. This is a problem from a McGraw-Hill Connect Business Statistics. Uh, it gives us this exam uh, question and it's asking for this, uh, this, these questions. Now I have the answers here so you can see but that's okay, we're just gonna learn how to do this. The Thompson Supply Company Incorporated is a distributor of gas-powered generators. As with any business, the length of time customers take to pay their invoice is important. Listed below, a range from smallest to largest is the time in days for a sample of the Thomas Supply Company Incorporated invoices. So. We want, uh, what they're asking for is determine the second decile and the eighth decile. Determine the 67th percentile. So remember when they're asking this, they're asking what is the, the number at a specific position. So what is the, the number of these numbers? Uh, determine the second decile at position number two and at position number eight because decile is dividing the data into 10 positions. So let's go over here. And what I've done is we've got 10 positions here. So we got one through 10. And uh, we're, what we're trying to do now is calculate which of these numbers, here's the data set. Uh, there's 30, uh, 30 numbers here. Uh, and we want to, to put those 30 numbers into 10 positions. That's what we're doing here. And now we've got one through nine positions. So, he, and this, this formula in Excel is going to tell us which position is at, if I say, well, what is it position number four? Or what is it position number nine? It's gonna give us the answer. That's what it's asking for. So it says determine the second decile and the eighth decile. So they're asking for what is the second and what is the eighth decile. And as you can see at the second, it's 27.8 and at the eighth, it's 52.6. And it's calculated by this formula, percentile Dot exc. Now there's two percentile formulas in Excel. I'm not going to go through that here, but for this purposes, we're going to use percentile uh, dot exc. And then within that, here's the range of the data from A2 to A31, 30 uh, numbers. And then we have what we're trying to do is position. And the position here is at B2, that's B2. Two, so at position one divided by 10, because what is percentile? The second question, percentile is divided by 100, right? And so what we're doing with deciles is we're taking 100 and dividing it by 10 so that the numbers go into 10 positions instead of 100, right? So that's why this formula is laid out this way. It's the, the percentile of this group of numbers uh, and we're looking for the position one, two, three, et cetera, and divide it by 10 because percentile divided by 10 is decile. Okay, so as you can see, there's my answers on that. Now, there's another question that says determine uh, the 67th percentile. And you'll see over here, what I've done is I've kind of created a formula for that equals percentile.exe. Uh, there's my array again. Those are my group of numbers. And then it's I'm, I'm going to put this I3. Now, this is the percentile I'm looking for. Uh, and so what I've done is as opposed to just putting, oh, the, the question is, uh, what's it per, at number 16? I didn't, I mean, sorry, what's that position uh, determine the 67th percentile? Uh, I didn't put that there. What I did is I put I3 so that you can enter what they're asking for. So what they're doing here is um, we can we can enter the number here and it's going to give us the the number in the data set that's at that position. And again, there's two different formulas, uh, EXE and INC, but they both per, uh, return the same 
answer on this particular one. So uh, what we've done here is we said determine the 67th percentile. And uh, if I put 0.67 in here, it gives me, this is the answer, 47. So just think about this for a moment. We could say, let's say, what's at the 25 percentile, right? 0.25. And if I did that, it's going to change the number. So whatever your question is in your problem, uh, you put the percentile here and it's going to give you the number that's that at that position, right? So now remember, uh, it is, it is uh, even though these are all whole numbers, it is using a calculation, right? So we have a calculation, so we might have decimals, but you're going to pick the number that's, uh, in fact, your book probably asks you to round it to so many um, numbers. Some books might ask for to uh, the hundreds place or the 10 place or one decimal place, et cetera. Let's see, let's how about 1.75 if we wanted the 75 percentile, right? So you can um, mess around with this and this is why I set it up this way is so you can use this, uh, this formula here to enter what you want uh, and it's going to give you the answer for here, okay? And uh, that'll do it for this, deciles and percentiles, business statistics.